Welcome back to East Texas Now, here with our new background that we're able to see the live uh, streaming newscast straight out of your East Texas newsroom. We're able to see it here. Here at the top of the hour, I do want to uh, bring in a, a special guest with us here. She is a friend of the show. Please welcome Kim Morris, the Chief Impact Officer of the East Texas Food Bank. Kim, thanks for joining us again. Thanks so much for having us, having me. Always uh, glad to join. Yeah, absolutely. You, the entire East Texas Food Bank, uh, friends of the show, indeed. And you guys have some really exciting news. You're opening a new location. Yeah, absolutely. So we are um, moving or opening a new mobile food pantry starting tomorrow, actually June 18th from 4 to 530 uh, down in Nacogdoches County. So it'll be at the First United Methodist Church. Uh, this is actually where we, um, as an organization, we're always looking at not how do we do more, but how do we do better. Uh, and so this is an opportunity that we had to move um, a mobile pantry that had existed that was developed out of COVID into a location where we could serve a, a larger portion of the community. And so our friends over at Nacogdoches uh, First United Methodist Church on 201 East Hospital Street there in Nacogdoches, they have been dedicated volunteers to our teams uh, in the mobile pantry space for a long, long time and stepped it up even more by allowing us to come to their property to host this uh, distribution so that we could um, offer more services. You know, Nacogdoches County, we have, when it comes to the meal gap, like how many meals are necessary to meet the total need, we're looking at 2.3 million meals necessary in that one county alone to meet the need. So the more opportunity that we have to become more efficient with what we do, the better. And it's all thanks to organizations like uh, Nacogdoches FUMC uh, for, for allowing us to do that. So we're excited. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, to make sure that we get this, uh, it's Well, close. So we are moving physically like we were on this one property and now we're on another property. Right. It's still in the same town and the service is still the same, but we've moved to a different property. So we'll be over on Hospital Street. Um, but at the other location that we were at, we were kind of constrained with how many folks we could serve. We know that there's a huge need in that county. And so this new location should allow us to provide more to the community at large. Here we go. I was reading some of the breakdown of the numbers that you had sent over prior to um, us being able to chat this morning. And you guys said that you're uh, planning on serving three to 500 people at this location and in Nacogdoches County alone, 29% of children. That's nearly a third of kids in Nacogdoches go uh, are, are food insecure, are needing resources like this. So how can the community, now that we know where you are um, in Nacogdoches County, how can the community come to show up for the kids and for, you know, your neighbor. We're always needing new volunteers and more volunteers to support that pantry out there. Um, volunteers typically arrive about an hour before the distribution starts. So they look for volunteers to show up around three. And volunteers are folks that want to help. They can go to our website, eastexasfoodbank.org, and they can sign up to volunteer there. We sign all the waivers and all the fun stuff there. And our team knows you're coming, so we don't have to make quite as many phone calls trying to beg folks to show. So that's always a plus. Uh, but come out around 3 p.m., pack and prepare uh, probably 90% of the product that we distribute is fresh produce but because we know that that's something that folks that are food insecure may not use their precious grocery dollars for something that might go bad and so we we're able to bring that highly nutritious product especially for kiddos as they're growing they need some of that great stuff to, to help them develop properly and that we know that that's super important and so folks can volunteer there we're always looking for donations to cover the cost of the staff, the time, the fuel to put in the truck, all those things, you know, you can donate online at East Texas Food Bank on work as well, but always looking for new supporters and new friends to the food bank. Yeah, absolutely. And I know that this is a, uh, a little vocab word that we've used on the show, but if somebody is just now listening, the difference between, you know, a regular food pantry and a mobile pantry is the location, right? You are asking uh, someone else or someone else has asked you guys to come and kind of serve as the host. Can you decipher that a little bit better? <laughs> 
Sure, sure. Yeah, we. So a food pantry that's in a location is typically a brick and mortar location. It's always there and always available to offer services. That's our preference throughout our network is to have as many of those available to meet the community's needs because then they're there whenever you need them to be there. But in communities where we may not necessarily have enough uh, food pantries to serve the total need, like I said, 2.3 million meals are necessary in Nacogdoches County alone. We are willing and happy to plug in um, in those spaces. And, and when we plug in, we're not done. Just We're not going to just forever send a mobile pantry there to serve that need. Other teams are going to be looking for other churches that may want to start a food pantry or other locations that might want to, because it's really about the community taking care of the community. East Texas Food Bank is here to become a partner and to come alongside all these organizations as we meet the needs within the communities. But we know we are not we are not a savior for a community because there's so many passionate people within every community that we want to come along and support that. Um, and so a mobile food pantry is really us plugging in to try to help meet the need because we don't have enough brick and mortar uh, partners. And so it will be exactly what it is. You stay mobile <laughs> and you drive through the line and we'll put the food in your trunk or in your back seat, wherever you want it to go. And it'll all be based on the number of folks in your household as to how much we give to make sure we're serving everybody appropriately. Yeah, absolutely. I just realized that we had been talking uh, for quite some time to here on East Texas now. I'm not sure we ever gave like the actual definition of what the mobile pantry is or what it looks like to uh, participate because it can be a little um, intimidating to go through any system for the first time, especially a system that, you know, you're admitting, hey, for this month, we just need to make up a little bit of difference, which we're all in at one point or another. Right um, now, this isn't the only uh, food pantry that you guys have in Nacogdoches County. So if this one is kind of out of the way, there is still a whole host of others, Torino, Cushing, Douglas, uh, Nacogdoches. There's a, there's a whole list of them, right? So if there is somebody that's in Nacogdoches County just hearing about this uh, now, but saying, hey, I didn't know, is there one near me? Is it listed on your websites? Maybe they're not in Nacogdoches County, but somewhere in East Texas and are looking to either uh, be a part of it in one way or another by benefiting this time or maybe giving back after benefiting some other time. Um, is that listed on your website? Yeah, absolutely. You go to EastTexasFoodBank.org. There's a button called Find Food. If you click that Find Food, it'll scroll you to the bottom. You put in your location. It can be your actual city or county, and it'll pop up a listing of what's available and then you can click each one and see what time they're serving because they're all at different times. Um, and so, yeah, you should be able to find service there. Let's say that you live in Nacogdoches County, but you're on the edge of Nacogdoches County. So maybe look at Angelina County as well, because we have food pantries there. East Texas Food Bank serves 26 counties, 20,000 square miles of this beautiful state we call Texas. Uh, and so don't just think about your own county you're in, especially if you live close to those county lines, you can find access to all of that on our website. It's a great source. Absolutely. Kim, before we uh, let you go here, is there anything that we haven't covered that you want to make sure East Texas Now viewers know? No, I think you've done a great job. I think I would just encourage folks to go to our website. There's lots of resources there, lots of ways to get involved, and lots of different um, breakdowns of all the programs we offer. Maybe a mobile food pantry is correct for you. Maybe you qualify for one of our senior programs or child programs. So I encourage everybody to go peruse it, take a look. We keep it up to date and add new information there all the time. Absolutely. East Texas Food Bank dot com, right? Dot org. Dot org. I do this every time, I think. Uh, East Texas Food Bank <laughs> dot org. We've definitely done this before. And y'all, that new uh, mobile pantry that we were just talking about in Nacogdoches County open every third Tuesday of every month with fresh produce uh, from 4 to 530. That starts tomorrow, June 18th tomorrow. there um, at the First United Methodist Church over at 201 East Hospital Street. Kim, it is always a pleasure to speak with you. Don't be a stranger. We'll talk again soon. Yep, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Absolutely. Have a good day.